Oh, yo, YouTube, it's your boy, Jadda One, the only one back on the video yesterday. Yes, sir, today, man. Shoes that I've been wanting to do a review on, I, I definitely want a personal pair of these. I ain't gonna lie. This shoe right now for resale is going stupid low right now in my size. So I'm gonna definitely put a trigger on these. I already know how to do this review. I'm gonna want this shoe even more. This shoe, super dope, super colorway. This, this shoe fire. I ain't gonna lie to you, talking about the Air Drone 1 Craft. Shout out to my brother, of course. He always went his little size eight and a half. But he always showed love to the channel since day one. Let me do reviews on his shoe. You know, I can't get on feet for y'all. But to still to have the shoe so y'all can see the shoe. And plus, I haven't seen the shoe yet in hand. I just seen the box. I didn't open up the shoe yet or anything like that. I seen videos, but I haven't seen the shoe in my hand, my presence yet. So I'm bringing it to my presence, to my family so y'all can see it. So. Hopefully y'all stick around, y'all see the shoe, man. But like and subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Not further ado, man. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Man. Like I said beforehand, in the beginning of the video, we got this Air Drone 1 Craft Joints. Came out about a little bit a month ago, around December. You know what I'm saying? Early on in December. These things are clean, super fire. Try on sneakers that didn't win. Stuff happens, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, the resale value right now is super, super low. And I think this shoe will sneak up soon. But not super crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because right now my size are wearing 11 and a half, so going for like 215, 220. I think down the line going to be like, like 260, 270 down the line. But not right now. It's still going to be super low by the stock. A lot of people, a lot of stores when they didn't get this shoe. So like I said, I'm being patient sometimes with shoes. Sometimes they might hit stores later on. You know what I'm saying? Case stores didn't get the shoe or like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that got to be patient with. But I, I do want this shoe though. But I already didn't know talking. You know what I'm saying? The storyline, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm here for the shoe. So, not further ado, man. Let's go ahead and get the shoe out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This box different. I love when, like, boxes be looking different. You know what I'm saying? Like, super, super different. You're like, man. I like I like that idea, man. But you got his eight and a half. Lucky small feet, boy. But I always show love, brother. Much love to you. Boom. You know what I'm saying? They call it the craft because got different materials on this shoe. In case y'all wonder like why they call it the craft, but it got different materials on the shoe. But the box is fire. You know what I'm saying? Super fire. And it says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Black and brown. Size eight and a half. And the retail price on these was 170. So in case y'all wonder the retail price was it, it was 170. So go get these bad boys out. Oh, so it comes with, usually be like different paper. So it comes with this brown paper right here. That's something different and unique. Let's go get these bad boys out. Oh, it comes with sets of two laces. Okay, okay, okay. Bang, here they go, man. Y'all already see that 3M material on the shoe already. On the upper of the shoe, man. Super clean, super clean. The The, the material on the shoe is crazy, bruh. Just seeing these things in hand, bruh, this material is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull the trigger on these bad boys, man. I like the suede material on these. I think you can compare these a little bit to the biohacks. I will wear these more than the biohacks though. And the leather on the toe box, got that good tumble leather. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. This shoe right here, oh yeah. I might have to go ahead and pull the trigger on that bad boy. But here I go right here so y'all can see it better. There they go, man. The Air Jordan 1, crab joints, man. Super clean, super clean colorway. And the suede material on the whole upper of the shoe is super clean. I love black outsoles on Air Jordan 1s for sure. Play with the other shoe out. Since this ain't my box, <laughs> I can't just throw it any kind of way. So I gotta be nice and gentle for my brother, man. <laughs> Look about the shoe, man. The outsole got your black outsole. I love Air Jordan 1 black outsoles, man. You can just wear them multiple times. You won't even know. 
on the outsole, super clean, dirty, you know what I'm saying? You won't even know. Go along your midsole, you got your white midsole right here. Go along the toe box, you got your white tumble leather on this toe box right here. It's that good tumble leather quality right there. So y'all also can see around the toe box right here, you got your hints of that 3M reflective. Y'all can tell when I go back and forth, you can see the 3M, like that detail as well. The toe box, you got your brown suede ball along the toe box. I love this material, man. The suede feels real, real soft. Butter is not like that rough suede. It's like a soft suede butter to it. I like it a lot. Going along on the side panel, you got your hints of your black Nike Swiss suede right here. This material it is suede, by the way. Also got your hints of this, also this 3M. I was saying along in the beginning, you got your around the toe box as well. Got your hints of the 3M. Right by have the laces. It's also suede. It's like this green suede. It's not leather. So majority of the upper of the shoe is suede. Only part that is leather quality. It's the toe box. Also right by here, there's Nike Swiss on the side panel. This also leather as well. And back of the heel, this part is leather as well too. And this part is a little bit of the, like a hard leather as well too. In case y'all wonder like which part is leather, which part is suede, in case y'all wonder. But also on this Air Jordan Wing logo, it is stitched in, it's like a rough leather. But around the patch, that brown is suede. But the hints of the back of the heel, got your purple suede. This purple suede feels so smooth. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like a smooth sail butter back and forth on this purple suede, man. Go along right here by the tongue. I won't even say it's red. I say more of it's like a peach type, you know what I'm saying? If y'all can see it a little bit better. It's like more peach, not like a red to it. Shoe, y'all see it right here. They halved it up, so half is black and the rest is like a peach colorway on the laces. I thought it was a double laces till I seen it. See it now, I don't think I seen no video that did that yet. So in case y'all wondering, like they just halved it up. That's super fire, that's different rather than have to double lace them. The double lace be taking a minute. I never did it before, but I know it takes a long time to do. So my patience ain't that type of patience on, them, on the laces for sure. And also another detail inside the shoe, Got your stitched in Nike Air, that peach colorway I was telling y'all about, and the sock liner. It's like a different type of patch sock liner inside the shoe. It's like more soft, more comfortable to wear, I should definitely say. Something different that they do these Air Jordan ones, but the laces got hints of some black, plain laces, in case you just want to do all black. You ain't got to worry about that peach colorway I was telling y'all about. These ain't no white laces, more like a more like a sail type laces. I could see why they did sail laces because on the toe box it looked more sail, not like an actual white, but the midsole is definitely like more like a white type. But the sail laces won't be bad on the, on these at all neither, but I like with the half black and the, the peach and the rest on the upper of the shoe. Definitely fire, definitely fire. These things are clean. I get these 8.5. I can get these about a 9 out of 10. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I do like this colorway. It's different. The leather quality, the suede material. All that good stuff on this shoe is definitely good. It's a low budget in shoe too. So in case y'all like, you know what I'm saying, wearing the different on multiple fits. And these I could be very versatile with. So when I do get these, I'm going to match that with some outfits I got. I told y'all I'm going to do that too. I told y'all I got that on that as well. So don't forget that. Also size running in retro ones. Normally I do 11, 11 and a half, a 12 beat big on me. So in case y'all wondering, they definitely run small. So I'll go a half size up in retro ones. I just know retro size run on these. I normally go, you know what I'm saying, true to size or go a half size up sometimes in case it depends on if they got 11. They got 11, I could do 11 and a half. But they got a 12, I can't do a 12. I know 12 gonna be big on my feet. But I know a lot of people like a little room in their shoes. So go a half size up in retro ones. I could do either one though. So I don't bother me none, I should say. But these are clean, man. Super, super, super clean, man. Shout out to my bro again for letting me do the review on his shoe. Check it out. I'm gonna post pictures and everything on my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok. So I'll check that out down below. Make sure you, make sure you follow your boy, man. Make sure you follow your boy. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. That's it. That's it for this video, man. Like and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. I appreciate y'all showing love support as always. Hopefully your boy find these for a reasonable price so I ain't gonna order it on GOAT or StockX and get y'all on feet and plus get y'all some outfits with it so y'all can have an idea how to 
style it up, wear it up, all that good stuff, man. So I appreciate y'all showing love support. As always, man, Gerald is out. Peace.